Hi everyone, welcome to the Football Lab. I'm just going to give you a run through of the latest um, championship transfer news that's been going on over the last week or so. Um, f first thing really is for Mara Diadu, um, Bristol City's record signing. They've got him from, uh, from Angers. Um, and I th the first thing you notice about him is that he's, he's a similar type of striker to uh, Tammy Abraham who uh, it doesn't look like they're going to get back this year, Bristol City. Um, he's um, got an eye for goal, clearly. Um, yeah, I think he's very tall, bit of a target man, sort of presence about him, um, and uh, certainly got a, a, a bit of strength, um, good in the air, uh, and, that, and that type of thing. Uh, and he, he's certainly going to be the, the focal point for Bristol City this year. Um, and he's uh, they spent north of, of £5 million on, on the Senegalese striker. Um, so clearly big things are expected from him. Uh, and it will be fascinating to see how he does in the Championship. Now another uh, foreign import is Pelé Clement, who, um, I'll put a nice accent on there, who signs uh, for, or for Reading from Ajax. Now... Uh, I've done a bit of research on Clement, um, and um, the the first thing you notice about him really is that uh, he's quite a universal player in that he's got experience of playing in lots of different positions, and I think that's something that possibly appeals to uh, his compatriot uh, Yap Stam, um, who likes players who are comfortable sort of roaming into different areas, who likes sort of fluidity. I suppose he's brought up with the, the total football uh, ideals. Um, and uh, I think Clement um, fits into that really. Um, he's willing to sort of drift into different areas and create space. Um, he, I think the comments are that he'll probably need to adapt to the championship in some ways. Um, but he's certainly a very intelligent footballer. Um, predominantly in central midfield, but he obviously can play other areas as well. Um, and we look forward to seeing how he'll do. Um, now, moving on to Emir Hughes. Now, I think Ipswich's results improved um, last season once Hughes came into the team. Um, and I know he's got some excellent reviews there. Uh, very hard working midfielder, strong in the tackle, um, but can also get the ball forward early. And um, I think he's got that. He's got a lot of qualities that, uh, that Mick McCarthy likes. Um, and he's got an awful lot of potential. Um, I, I was quite impressed with him, what I saw of him at, uh, at Birmingham. He was one of the better loanees we had in that 13-14 season. So he's clearly yeah, a, an able player. And um, he's got an eye for, for, for the spectacular. And if you, you see, remember that goal he scored at, uh, at Middlesbrough a few seasons ago. So that looks like a good signing for the Tractor Boys. Um, on the f final note for, for the Championship... Uh, Ryan Sessegnon has signed a new deal um, at Fulham uh, until um, 2020. Now, that's a, a long-term deal. Um, and I think from, from a neutral point of view, it's quite encouraging that his head hadn't been turned by, by the Vultures, if you like, because there had been um, rumours of, of Liverpool being interested and lots of other big clubs like that. I think Tottenham as well. Um, I'm glad that he's chosen to say, you know what, I'm, I'm only sort of 16, 17, um, I've had one good season, but I need more time to, to develop at a, at a steady rate. And I think um, he's better off leaving for somewhere like a Tottenham or a Liverpool um, when he's more like 20 or 21, when um, he sort of matured and, um, and improved different aspects of his game and, and had a bit of time. Because I think if you get too much tension too young, um, then sometimes that can go to your head and I'm glad that he's chosen to commit to the club that's that's developed him um, and I think that this is excellent news um, not just from Fulham's point of view but also for Sessegnon and football in its wider sense that's been my championship roundup thanks very much for listening I'll see you next time